Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create red brush in the app IBS Paint Text. As I told in the last video, we can create our own brush from the latest update of IBS Paint Text. So if you scroll down in the plus symbol, you can find the brush pattern option at the bottom. And when you click on this, you'll get the view like this. Don't do anything, just click on this cross and here you get the option to choose the brush you want, color, whatever you want. So I'm using the felt tip pen hard brush. So using the same basic brush, I'm going to create a red brush. So here I'm going to choose brush pattern color because I'm going to create a color brush. And here I'm going to use 1024 cross 1024 cross, uh, you know, that pixel range brush because we will get the high quality. And as I used the felt tip and hard brush as a brush, so here we get the circle in the layer. And you can see here it's test drawing. If I click on this, here is the screen where I can test the brush that I have created. Since we have the circle in the edit pattern option, which is the shape of the felt tip pen, we got that. And to clear this, click on this box and to learn more about this. Click on this three dot and I'm coming back to the edit pattern and here is the brush that I have previously used for my artwork and here when I click on this test drawing with the brush that we have created in this panel will appear here you can see since I used felt tip and heart it's appearing here if I draw something else in that edit pattern it will appear in as a brush here in the test drawing so and don't down click on this down symbol because the panel will disappear so now I am going to edit the you know the brush so just remove the layer where we have the circle and I'm going to switch on the symmetry ruler vertical symmetry and I'm going to use watercolor edge brush for this and using the lasso brush a lasso tool i'm going to draw the shape of the leaf and create the red brush so i choose the uh, lasso tool and here i'm going to draw a basic leaf shape not too much complicated one so as i always tell for the watercolor technique i leave a gap between the detail which i select using the lasso tool so i'm using this aqua green color and i'm going to add textured coloring for this though i add color at the background we can find some transparency uh, transparency on the on this layer so to avoid layer on the base we're going to apply white color for these shapes so here I'm going to finish adding textured color details to the leaf. So this is going to be a colorful brush, color brush. So whatever color details you add here will appear in the final brush. So make sure you made a perfect detail so that it will appear in the final outcome. And here when you zoom in to you know, very uh, small, you can find the transparency. So to avoid that, create a layer and bring it to the down and using the lasso fill, I'm going to fill with the white color. So now, even if you draw on the colorful background, it will not have any transparency, uh, transparency and show the background color. So now again, I'm going to add a few more leaves here in the gap. So I just remove the selection and reselecting the new areas. So now in the same way, I'm going to use the watercolor edge brush and the same colors, but going to create some variation in the color formula, like texture or the way we apply so that we can find some variation in the leaves and, you know, uh, not everything has to be, you know, similar. So that's my concept always. So everything is in the same pattern, same, almost like same leaves doesn't look good at all so I add some variation so that it looks better and going back to the bottom layer I'm going to fill with the white color using the lasso tool 
let's fill it through. So now we added the background color white and I feel like there is some empty areas here. So I'm going to add some small leaves, not a big one, just small leaves. And we can find a leaf which have the other leaves details. So don't uh, overdo on that area. What you have to do is use the lasso eraser and clear the leaf details. Here you can see I just erased that details. So now I'm going to fill with the color since it is a small flower, a small uh, leaf. I'm going to use some yellow color as a major color and I'm going to add green color a little bit. You can also use solid colors for this but I want a red watercolor brush so I'm doing this. Going back to the bottom layer, I'm going to fill with the white color. Okay, almost done. We have almost finished the leaf drawing for the breath. And now remove the selection and switch off the symmetry ruler. Okay, and now we got this. I just use the symmetry ruler to find the center of the canvas. So just and now I'm going to merge this layer into a single layer and click on this duplicate layer and click on the horizontal flip here you can find as a fourth option now this is how it looks and at the center something is missing so i'm going to add a small uh, you know what we can call um, stem so i just created a new layer at the bottom and using the dip pen hard brush i'm going to add the stem so i'm going to use the same green color here make it thin not we don't want very hard thick stem because while we are drawing or making the brush details it will affect us so keep it thin so for bends when we draw bends in the brush using the brush it will show off some thick edge like corners so avoid sharp details at the corner like at the top and bottom now everything is done go to the test drawing layer and here you can see we have the brush that you used and when you click on the test drawing you can see what I created is appearing here but it not as I expected we have to change you know make some changes so for reference I'm going to draw this and now I will show you the uh, changes so this is the brush where uh, where I added the leaf now I'm going to rename this so that I you know I don't get confused so I'm going to type red brush or even red brush by Priya So we have changed the name. Now go to the shape, increase the space, and I will show you how it looks now. This is how it looks, and it doesn't look even clear, it's not clear. So go to this and increase the pattern opacity. Now it will be dark and clear somewhat. Now still, we have to make some changes. So we don't want a straight vertical uh, leaf. So we want a width like leaves. So what you have to do is change the initial angle from vertical to horizontal. Change the initial angle. You will get something like this. But this is not clear. You know, you can see everything is not aligned perfectly. Like you can see, it's um, though it's on the horizontal direction, here it's showing us a separate leaf separate details so what you have to do is click on this so we can adjust a little bit and click on this following rotation when you click on this following rotation as 
the brush or the uh, you know stylus moves the brush also moves in the same direction now you can find a little bit variation you can see a huge difference between this and this there is no separate leaves going here and there and to make it perfect we can adjust the um, initial angle a little bit and trying changing the spacing a little bit so now it is good you can see a huge difference between this and this how it flows so our brush is ready now i will show you the clear view of how my brush looks it looks good it's the uh, flow is really good on the way i want here you can see and if you don't want more space between the leaves you can change it by using the space details and i don't want this sharp corner it's showing off while we are making some bends so i'm going to this i, I just merge all these layers together and i'm erasing this part and here it, we don't have anything so now this is how it looks and if you don't want space between the leaves just go here and adjust the value and make sure while creating the brush in the color palette a uh, color option at the bottom you choose green otherwise here we, i have chosen red so when i'm going to draw for any artwork if i choose green color it will give some some other color output but you uh, know if you choose red color it will get this color option so green color leaves so make sure when you start creating keep that uh, color as you know whatever color like green whatever color you want as a base so here you can see as i change colors it shows different color variations the leaf is perfect now you can try different colors and work out on these if you don't want uh, much space you can adjust the space if you want more space you can adjust the space like this so i want a little bit of space between the leaves not too much so i'm adjusting like this okay now it's good good so now what I have to do to save this brush nothing else just we have to click on this back to gallery option so everything is perfect i'm going to do the next process for saving this brush so to save the brush click on this arrow and click on this back to my gallery and here you can see a brush symbol which means we got the brush and when you click on this okay we are confirming this as a brush if you cancel it will not save as a brush so make sure you click on the okay symbol okay button now just create new you know uh, canvas and here we can see we have created the brush that is visible here now i'm going to change the color of the brush here you can see you can find this brush at the custom brushes of uh, under the custom brushes now you can see for pink color it shows something like this if you choose red color it will show green color because i have i had red color as a color while creating the brush so don't make this mistake otherwise you know you will get confused so but the brush is perfect i'll show you once again this is our brush and i think you learned something new from this tutorial gained more knowledge about creating your own brush if so subscribe to my channel and here at the bottom of the custom brushes you can find this along with the date and time you have created so yeah subscribe to my channel check all other my videos and if you want to have one to one classes you can join me uh, you can dm me in instagram 
I will respond you immediately and we can have the online session for IBS Paintex or whatever app is it is. And here is the previous video that I have created on how to create the basic brush. Create your own brush from IBS Paintex. And we also have other tutorials about the other apps as well. And here I told you already if you want to have one to one online session, you can learn from me. Just DM me in Instagram. Thank you for watching. Bye.